Hey, how's it going? Commander64 here. I do retro gaming and Elite Dangerous related content on this channel. And I've been hard at work at a Elite Dangerous cockpit build for quite some time now. And the next video in that series will be up very soon for those that have been enjoying it. Thank you very much for the views and the likes and the encouraging comments. It's really appreciated. But for now, we're just taking a very short break um, as the building has bled into the retro side of the channel. We're doing a little gaming room just to up our game. And this is part three of that gaming room build. We are going to build a desk for a small CRT retro television set to play all those computers and consoles onto. So let's get to it. Okay, to go on top of the other piece of kitchen work, top the brown piece, which is going to be the base of the TV desk, I've got the top there. That should be sufficient enough to fit a TV on it. Actually, before I did that, let me go and test that. Yeah, it could, be, could do with being a bit longer, to be honest. Um, so you can see this is my original line, and across here, it doesn't quite support the whole thing, because, you know, it's been a long time since I've actually used the CRT, so I forgot how wide, I mean, how deep they are, how much of a booty they've got. So, I'll have to go along this line. Okay, so the TV desk is coming along now. I found another piece of kitchen worktop, which by some kind of miracle was literally millimeters um, from being the right size. So I just trimmed the tiniest bit off and I managed to slot that piece of MDF between the skirting and it props right up against the bookcase. So it's pushing i mean it's not pushing but you know it's it's it means that base the complete length of the room which means this you know shifting along is impossible we can't it cannot go anywhere now it's braced from that side of the wall to that side of the wall with kitchen worktop so it's not going anywhere uh so i have also cut out another side which should nicely against there and that's the same height as that and it's gonna have the the desk sitting on top of those I will use up my remaining blocks to nail into the kitchen worktop and then into the thing and then uh, I could do the same thing with the with the top in fact what I might do is screw the top in to the sides then slot them in and then screw them down yeah i think that's the best plan there we go let's have a look that's screwed in Ooh. a bit of a gap there don't quite know how that's happened but it is secure it's very secure it doesn't move at all got a fixing block there, fixing block there. I've got you fixed in, you're ready for the top. Now for the other side. Okay, you really should have been recording, but never mind, you wasn't. But I have screwed this and this to this. So this is the top, this is the side over there. And now the moment of truth is to see if you have worked. So let's, right, let's see if this works. Or if 
this falls apart. Oh my. What the hell? for a second then I thought it was going to fall to pieces but there it is let's sit down there and have a look yeah so the only thing that remains now is to screw those fixings into this and possibly put something in the middle or up to support it that's a good idea so I might need to do some more cutting for that so that's pretty much all of the building done now in the next video we're gonna polish it up give it a lick of paint and fill the bookcase up with some lovely retro goodness so hopefully I'll see you on that and maybe I'll even see you in the cockpit build which is coming shortly thanks very much for now this is commander 64 signing off